Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following them, yeah? Well, people who got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, ain't for 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt show. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Reaching Shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle.
sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals. Less disgust is their propensity to feed on feet. that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. How you doing there, shark? intestinal support out of water. Watch the shark's internal okay. organs struggle to function. You got this, She's sure making a lot of splash! Got us some dinner coming, boys! Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's on, all right. This ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Oh, oh look here. She's on for me. Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You'll never want to turn off that camera.
famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bolt. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here.
action predators most often select and strike a single prey at a time. Fawtick's keystone predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator.
is a driving force for the bull shark. Strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth. should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision-making. If a group of consenting adults wants to perform cryptic rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the great old ones, huh, who am I to judge?
As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. Until local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie-seeking snorkelers. to sharks as the hounds of the sea. This is certainly living up to its reputation. instantly recognizable and unmistakably found. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection.
catfish will eat her own young. So this shark quite possibly saved the lives of an estimated thousands of baby catfish. really a gourmand. The bull shark will eat just about anything. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. A shark's gills are not designed to function out of water.
traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world.
Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. in pursuit of a dangerous shark. Those closest to them prepare for the possibility that they might come home. Got a regular there from Ingo Joe's. I say it's a tourist trade. But it's the only plague to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on there. Do not serve me. of the Swampland, by you with me. are getting heated in this war of attrition between man and nature. I just know she's 
The battle is over, but the war goes on. exceeds her evil reputation. A shrill chorus of ankle bracelet alarms fills the air. A shark hunters lead their homes to trap our bullshit. Cycles. Just saying. Versus dolphin, orca versus giant squid, boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. The shark's dead. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close.
the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tubes. of action. by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. As with many social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality.
Catfish are cavity nesters. Find your crevices. of 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty theft. Vigilante fever has seized Port Clovis, making it dangerous for anything that swims.
Dead Horse Lake should be embarrassing, right? But in Port Clovis, they put up a monument. You gotta be the best at something. on the fugitive shark. The bartender life in Bobby Bojang. Despite Port Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love.
many places see more human fatalities caused by giant catfish than sharks, such as the Amazon Basin or Splash Mania Water Park in Garland, Texas. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. A local critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodin of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodin was. Someone should have taken a gun safety class.
These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone disrupting chemicals and palm oil. Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable seaman. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. A hungry heart approaches the vulnerable prey.
Dead Horse Lake plays host to the city's working poor, who come despite its frequent water quality alerts. Retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark. That's the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives it a super.
party band three years running. Curiously, none of the boys are actual bear boots. While the state of Dead Horse Lake is alarming, we can be assured that a new era of environmental stewardship will restore order to our treasured wild places. <laughs>
Sabretooth Nightmare, the Barracuda. of up to 35 miles per hour. Most recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple. Did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. face of Captain Winky's fish and chips, in real life the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. He got two can barely tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to have my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. 
got work to do. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bulk. Handyman special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open living with vintage appeal. All down. think that sharks are attracted. The shark should really get some water in her gills. Ah! Ah! Love is local seldom is an opportunity to say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shark. A shrill chorus of ankle bracelet alarms fills the air. 
as shark hunters leave their homes to track our full ship. Another shark hunt draws to a close. I would like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program. Another fisherman, that's between them and him, yeah? The rogue shark must now be killed and publicly displayed to satisfy the city's thirst for revenge. Savage Shrimp.
Despite poor Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals. Don't think we're gonna make any more headway today. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Consistently the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with this par 7 humdinger. mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet.
USGA Rule 4.1A2 might have saved these damaged clubs from abandonment. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spot is a test to their love of seniors golf. Torpedo-shaped kingfish prefers warm coastal water and not being killed by sharks. The bull shark spots the barracudas in the nest. indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite.
conventional apprehension methods having failed, authorities send out a motley collection of untrained, unlicensed individuals to do their work for them. Depends on her nimbleness. Resistant skin can now be used for wallets, key fobs, gun holsters, and other fine leather goods. The beach sure does look inviting, but according to the most recent study, the sand hill contains dangerously high concentration. The shark is now an adult, and she should probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds. Frolicking in the waves can become a cautionary tale of misadventure. Our 
shark hunters will not give up on finding their prey. At least until things quiet down, or they run out of hard limits. Shark, one must be the shark fin traders come every year to Baton Pordu. Because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 round of golf? Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Golf ball diving is an exciting and growing field where you can risk alligators and venomous snakes for 7 to 10 cents per ball. The battle is over, but the war goes on. Vegetation salinity zones in this area include fresh marsh, intermediate marsh, brackish marsh, and saline marsh. The resilient bull shark is able to navigate all of them with ease. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home. Let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. sensorial system comes alive with amplified vibrations.
protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. In spite of their reputations as wrestlers, alligators haven't mastered the nuances of scientific holds like the figure four. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror.
quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. and on International Turtle Day, too. The Bayou Brawler, the American Alligator. star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show, but our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul.
using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shot. is linked by the intricate scheme of eat and be eaten. shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark.
when the coastal waters warm, it is often a harbinger of gore-crazed sharks. The Sultan of Speed, the Mako. and aggressive, the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. Somebody's drinking team has a drowning problem. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage. Hockey sticks are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules. But not for long, if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it. Members of Baton Tordu who commissioned this piece apparently found it whimsical. Whereas if you ask me, it's a little trite and unimaginative. makes for a fascinating, if not slightly nauseating, spectacle. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus.
Golden Shores import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. Aka! What's wrong? Can you catch no reef? I can, but this one's like 20 feet. 15. Whatever. Can't do it. I'll come out there, I'll do it. The old man with one hand. Yeah, well maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. What are you say? Nothing. Boy couldn't catch in a diaper. He telling me how to hunt a shark. Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father-son bonding. But now, I don't know. I might start looking for another summer job. Hey, not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just hope this whole university thing works out for him, yeah? Golden Shores was built on an elevated coastal hazard area, and while they don't have any disaster prevention strategy in place, I'm sure it'll be fine. The sight of this shark is nearly insatiable. This instantized protein makes a great between meal supplement giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass.
predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Bouncing has been posted. The shark will have to be cautious until the hunters grow bored. Shores. Got a shark situation.
Clovis is thoroughly energized by the sharp menace. The fishing phenom, Candyman Curtis. She's under us. as the conflict escalates. of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Human's attention spans are short. We've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. Little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close.
the shark hunters have arrived. Soon we will see them in action, and quite possibly discover which one of them stole my car steering. Attacks such as these often leave people unsettled and anxious. Up there! Essential that the shark returns to the water. We good people are always in the fight for the weather. Poodle Wheat and Terry make sure we call the poodle or wheat. The hunt is over. 
and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake.
season ends, hunters return to their normal routine of bouncing checks at liquor stores. Tyler Dixon. Despite Fort Clovis' best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed.
The battle is over, but the war goes on. Sharks have been known to eat echinoderms when desperate, to which I can very much relate. The man-eater's longevity depends on her nimbleness. Tigaroos are part of a complete balanced breakfast for anyone aspiring to one day suffer from fatty liver disease. Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of ski ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts. anything. Long a haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection.
parrotfish here have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strangely. America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybell Bryant, has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. Sophisticated wildlife management has never been a priority in Port Clovis, and so, amateur hour begins. Clear out of shark in Sapphire Bay. she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. The hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. How man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons, and probably Illuminati who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals. of Lorenzini in the shark's head allow her to sense differences in water pressure.
same. The two happiest days in a sailor's life are the day he buys his boat and the day he sells it. Unless it's splintered to kindling by a savage sea tonight. Can't help but marvel at this consumerist Babylon. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Evolutionary anomaly, the hammer. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. superior depth perception.
grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Golden Shore's development was originally met with local protest, but those objections were easily circumvented with campaign donations to Planning Commission Director Steve Traeger. Despite the catfish's highly developed auditory system, lab tests revealed they still prefer CDs over vinyl. Hunting bull sharks was made illegal in 1997. Many shark hunters get around the rule by not caring.
nihilistic statement on the futility of life. Hunters may occasionally drink on the job, they know actually that's pretty irresponsible. Fed Colossus, Butcher Boy Brady.
Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. For now. have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. The fish takes quick evasive action. growing luxury vacation home. Government actions can diminish poor Clovis's reputation as a shark attack hotspot.
sharks are totally right. Humans are not sharks' primary nourishment. our shark to fight another day. and quasi-legal get-rich-quick schemes set aside for now, the shark hunters get to work. Going shores over here. 
shark attack too often provokes Port Clovis locals into killing every swimming creature along the coast. Norman Shore's got a shark that needs killing. No more shark attacks on my watch. encounter of the deadly The toast of the coast, Lieutenant Shannon Sims.
into the wind, the big fish escalates its battle against Port Clovis. Another shark gun draws to a close. Beginning in 1946, WZUZ began broadcasting the country variety show Hillbilly Hayloft Hoedown, live from Pier 1. Struggles mightily, gasping for oxygen.
in mind that, in certain respects, a shark is merely a highly skilled killing machine, driven by appetite and little else. can put our social systems under extreme duress. Using our quickness, the bull shark is able to escape serious injury. No such thing as a recession-proof business, except for the frozen banana stick. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant.
take a guy to the car, and he wasn't nothing but an itty bitty boy. The fact that he was afraid of that Ferris wheel should have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. in Port Clovis. Every June, locals gather to watch the toxic algae bloom's sinister encroachment on the city's coastline and beaches.
retaliates against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens. proves as slippery as it is dead. Multi-million dollar menace, Mama Maybell.
known habitat of the speckled seaside sparrow. But, you know, they were extinct in 2007. Yeah, a breeze would be nice. The battle is over, but the war goes on. of ankle bracelet alarms fills the air as shark hunters leave their homes to trap our bull shark.
is a driving force for the bull shark. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered call. As is well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get.
As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. Well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that. Was to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Oh, you don't mind me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But, I just say it. Maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings. Get ready, boy. Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! Big enough to toss him now, ain't you? Can! Get that can! Down, sir! Pete, get to us! What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. The shark is now an elder, and thus 
begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Concentrations of metals and hydrocarbons in the water show just how much the Gulf has progressed since Amerigo Vespucci first arrived here in 1497. Vigilante fever has seized Port Clovis, making it dangerous for anything that swims.
The gulf is vast. 600,000 square surface miles to be exact, making it fifth among the world's seas. Should have brought my fish finder. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Jones. Prosperity Sands features glittering white beaches fenced off for the sole enjoyment of the ultra-rich, mega-rich, and super-rich. This trimaran, like many before it, was lost in its journey to the mythological dryland. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. There's a very real risk of drowning while surfing, but at least you'll leave behind a cool-looking skeleton. Caviar Key features painted sails, a luxury five-star resort built over the remains of Tunamacha, a pre-Columbian city that was once host to the most advanced civilization in ancient America. Beach erosion can be harmful for ecosystems by changing habitat conditions for such local fauna as seals, sea turtles, birds, and fish. by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. While they appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to Port Clovis.
the shark returns once again to her safe haven. So distant future, a young visionary entrepreneur will spot these three shells while snorkeling and revolutionize after toilet care. The shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. And flavorful. Make pulling off a successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown. Attacks often occur unexpectedly and without any apparent competition. If you've ever seen this crawler, operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. Another shark hunt draws to a close.
Fostering a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process. What harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Vegetation salinity zones in this area include fresh marsh, intermediate marsh, brackish marsh, and saline marsh. The resilient bull shark is able to navigate all of them with ease. Remember, when planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake.
The shark uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Hunter hones in on potential prey. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Adorable, these soft stuff mascots don't provide much in the way of nutritional value.
A day at the beach is a summer ritual that wouldn't be complete without plenty of sunshine, sandcastles, and circarial dermatitis. After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the Gulf, where their kitschy charm is completely lost on native marine life. Clever Predator shows a well-developed talent for fighting
Intel Great White Jaw can fetch $25,000 on the black market. So, if Randy offers you five, you're going to take a hike. As we face impending resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime, there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage. Yes, it's quite beautiful here. Unfortunately, bull sharks can't see color. Five hundred million years of terrestrial evolution reaches its apex with Prosperity Sand's spacious float new floor plan. The idea that shorelines belong to the public comes from Roman Emperor Justinian. But oh, if you're like me, you're probably wondering what their secret is for such durable papier-mâché. Given the number of people who frequent the beach, it can be rationally assumed that a little human urine finds its way to the sea. Every summer, Port Clovis plays host to the Megasonic Electro Carnival, giving a real boost to the local MDMA industry. getting enough minerals in her diet. The stunned small fish mouth and brush-like teeth prove insufficient against the ferocity of the large predator. Stomach, it's truly the ocean's garbage can. Oh, 
The hungry predator devours the marlin. Coddle the uncle and all. Emperor of the Deep, the Great White. is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. Along Blanchard County's 78-mile coastline, there are 35 miles of sandy beach, only six of which aren't owned by resorts. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. The ocean waters are driven constantly by tides, currents, and Saudi-owned super -tides. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage.
traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Sponges demand for pineapple homes has sparked massive deforestation throughout Costa Rica. But being brainless, sponges rarely weigh the consequences of their buying decisions. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination.
bee killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Shark's palate's more refined, they'd prepare their turtle meat with just a splash of Amontillado. fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. The self-driving technology of Gazorpazor is not without its reliability concerns. There would have been more protests surrounding Prosperity Sands were not the public already so numbed about ecological concerns in general. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. The 
shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. discovered that their Stonehenge replica was astronomically misaligned, enraged Port Clovians threw it in the ocean. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. Blah, blah, late stage capital.
This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Many a child has run away to the sea with a head full of romantic notions of dynamiting sharks for a living. That of sea salt, nitrogen oxides, and an intriguing bouquet of volatile organic compounds. Thanks to powerful risk assessment software, we now know that this was a wildly idiotic place to build vacation homes. Days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can take OP for that. Prosperity Sands sure ain't. I really should get them polarized lenses. Well, 
I'm sure the shark's dead. The hunt ends. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. What's in the barrels? Fish food. Pete, whatever this is, can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? They killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you? percent of hunter deaths. Drugs, alcohol, and poor fire apparently that count for the rest. Looking wealthy women. There's a court order says I can't be within 200 feet of the beach. But you can see a lot with a good set of binoculars. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Shark hunters stalk their prey, fully aware of the grisly horrors that await them upon a single mystery.
With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. To look at the coast is to recognize that the boundary between sea and land is transitory. All life on Earth is just a Study sharks say that they are more motivated by curiosity than predation. Ah! Clovis's communal guard against shark attacks came after ex Ix's folk dog they voted painted sails. But you know, so do a lot of the New York Cuyos.
The water along Caviar Key is frequently described as gin clear. Which reminds me, I could go for another Singapore swim. Local resorts have responded to sea level rise by importing 285,000 tons of sand and count. Clovis considered removing these naval mines after the war, but the city had already spent its annual budget booking a Nickelback cover band for the 4th of July. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. in town got that mango butter facial scrub I like.
Coastal tourism in the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of naive Americans vulnerable to the graft of beach umbrella renters. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty ball. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex local environment. Losing to King Crush in the 2011 Monster Mania semifinals, Big Finn stepped away from the limelight for a simpler, more natural way of life.
Arctic space have a shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Enjoy torturing and eating them. Even after the creation of a killer clown task force, clown-related homicide still remains a problem in Port Clovis. A bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. is a driving force for the bullshit. Orcas do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day-old seal carcass. themselves with alarming frequency in certain coastal areas. It can be a frustrating and often deadly occurrence. Shark bounties became commonplace here after the previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers was largely ineffective. of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. justice for her heinous crimes, the shark is now the subject of a bounty. I catch three of them killer whales, they got their fish fingers. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Although, the whalers really gotta work on those side areas. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet.
It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of the world. Shockingly, this was only Alex's second worst birthday. responsible for just 3% of hunter deaths. Drugs, alcohol, and poor firearm handling account for the rest. Well, I said to them, you better build that boardwalk high, because you just asked them for a shark attack how you got it now. But do they listen to me? No, not at all. Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror.
the air out here. No one knows who built this mysterious underwater base, but odds are they probably own a Nehru jacket and a Persian cat. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Port Clovis City Council never misses an opportunity for cross-franchising. vital that we extract an absolute maximum of resources before we cross Earth's apocalyptic threshold. Casanita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver. referred to by scientists as the 64-ounce gas station soda of large marine predators. to satisfy the city's thirst for revenge. I don't know how to properly stock and manage a fish pond, but it's a learning process. Yeah, a breeze would be nice. That's in me. I know it. 
The battle is over, but the war goes on. Weapons to take down alpha predators is a skill many shark hunters honed while in prison. and black attack, the orc.
featured attraction at marine mammal parks now have a new favorite trick, killing things. Prosperity Sands reminds us that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. As we face impending resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage. Each year, North American offshore drilling rigs leak about 80,000 gallons of oil into this. A great way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Nowhere is the irreversible degradation of the natural environment more on display than dead or slain.
This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutations as a catalyst. about anything. To clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. The 
threats to our ocean seem overwhelming. But by working together now, we can ensure that future generations always have a place to dump their old time. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet.
catfish are cavity nesters, so mind your crevices. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. likely to strike swimmers than people engaged in any other water sport, with the exception of maybe aquajar. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. A hungry heart approaches the vulnerable prey.
These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark.
Many a child has run away to the sea with a head full of romantic notions of dynamiting sharks for a living. You know, by Golden Shores? Hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. For more than three-fourths of geologic time, the land was uninhabited, without a single destination spa anywhere to be seen.
ambitious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Clovis responds with swift retributive action.
don't give you no scholarships for winning no big air rail jam. The shark proves as slippery as it is dead. Another shark? Draws to it. Recently, Port Clovis has gained a reputation for its derivative, politically confused street art. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. It's like Titans, thanks to a crack. We've had some real bad fish gears because of these oil tankers spinning. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. Coastal erosion currently impacts over 70% of the globe's sandy beach environments. Benjamin Franklin marveled at how quickly the Gulf Stream allowed him to travel back to America after his many Peruvian expeditions. I said Captain Gladys sunk his 
treasure somewhere around here. Been funding a diving expedition every year for ten years, and I ain't found it yet. This is quite a find. Although, that depends on the gold market, which has really been underperforming lately. I blame the Fed, of course, but what can you do? Shark is a sort of super scout, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. To see this area is to witness the inability of the hydrosphere to support the growth of humanized landscapes along the Gulf. Riding up these past few years. Losing my own money in this. Gonna be a crazy tag for the top. If a 
T-Rex is your favorite dinosaur, then you're boring and unoriginal and you need to pick a different favorite dinosaur. Right the underwater world is a fantasia, bustling with color and activity. Along Blanchard County's 78 mile coastline, there are 35 miles of sandy beach, only six of which aren't owned by resorts, individuals, or homeowners associations. We got a read on it? It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. The underwater world is a fantasia, bustling with color and activity.
attack man whenever and wherever they can show me. By putting sharks in their place, hunters ensure they'll stay in their land, so we don't have a Planet of the Apes situation on our hands. There have been more protests surrounding Prosperity Sands were not the public already so numb about ecological concerns in general. Pack it in, fellas. It's vital that we extract an absolute maximum of resources before we cross Earth's apocalyptic threshold. He sends their students out here every summer to study the reefs. Shit. Guess we all got different ideas about summer fun, yeah? every day, which here in the Gulf mostly consists of never Staircases and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht.
those sewer lines need work. I have a campylobacteriosis, cryptosporidiosis, leptosporosis. Let me tell you, partner, that ain't no joke.
bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. to wandering randomly in search of prey. They're far more sophisticated than that.
scuba back when he was a teenager. This museum's the first place I took him after when he got certified. This has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and low tipping fees. The spectacle of a rampaging shark never fails to attract interest. shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance.
giant monsters, or kaiju, occasionally visit Port Clovis to pre-game before destroying more worthwhile cities. Ice fishing is similar to regular fishing, but enjoyable only to upper Midwesterners. Lacking sufficient sand or protective dunes, Heavily developed areas risk great danger from hurricanes and tropical storms. quickness, the bull shark is able to escape serious injury. A bouncy The shark will have to be cautious until the hunters grow bored.
Seaman, Commander Percy Metcalf. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. Coastal risk analysis reveals that someday, someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Program.
time hitting the water when a shark becomes a threat to human life.
The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action. But mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. To look at the coast is to recognize that the boundary between sea and land is transitory, and that all life on Earth is just a cosmic accident. Beast of the fleet, Captain Robert Brunkland. That's it! Obstinate, big thing, conflict escalates. Coastal erosion currently impacts over 70% of the globe's sandy beach environments. Another shark hunt draws to a close. My least favorite part of the job. The accelerating destruction of the Gulf has occurred in tandem with a wholly humanized view of progress and development.
Mutation assassin, the sperm whale. the world practically ran on sperm whale oil. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet spermacet. Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Look, I didn't get you easy. But when some... some shark take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat, before I kill you too. The f*** I say! If you got hunger on, we serve a shark ain't too fair tonight! Pete has built an impressive battleship. But will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark? The idea that shorelines belong to the public comes from Roman Emperor Justinian, but only because he wasn't able to consult with the Association of Resort Developers and Eternally Wise Lobbyists. The gulf is vast, 600,000 square surface miles to be exact, making it fifth among the world's seas.
the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Maximal size is useful to the The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bolt. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach it's truly the ocean's garbage can. The cunning predator senses a meal is in the offing. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Some shark species practice cannibalism in utero. In the kill-or-be-killed world of the sea, performance-enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death.
liquefied and crustaceous. aware of anything that might constitute food. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. One is to see what happens when zero risk management practices are utilized in commercial development. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world.
driving force for the bulls. Bull shark will eat just about anything. in boat ownership manifests itself in a variety of ways here in Port Clovis. Homeless and itinerant hobos will work for a living. They are not to be confused with bum, who are sedentary and refuse to work. Kind of like my son Jeffrey.
The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Believe it or not, people paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. The best way to catch a kingfish is with a wire leader twin trouble bait rig on a set. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute. If only someone had done their sixth grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided. The shark, perhaps having gone too far with her pranks and hijinks, is now the subject of a county-wide shark. What the heck?
battle is over, but the war goes on. Another shark hunt draws to a close. Especially large groupers have been known to swallow sharks whole, so the bad feelings here go both ways.
charged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. Peace of the Grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. As coastal communities face ecological collapse and ruin, it's still reassuring to know you can get in your 18 holes. By identifying key disaster-related issues, commercial developers can be more informed as they continue recklessly building along the coast. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. The shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater.
Groupers are capable of absorbing extreme amounts of water in their attempts to suck up prey. It's vital that we extract an absolute maximum of resources before we cross Earth's apocalyptic threshold. See, I came prepared today! Oh, oh. I'ma fix you up real first. I think so. She looks like a wreck, sure. This is gonna get you a real knockdown dragon.
I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Man Eater. A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Ski boats and water skiing aren't a great idea in areas prone to shark attacks. 